Welcome back everyone, we're here with an Imola League race, sorry I've missed two of them I believe, it's just my recordings always got messed up. Starting the race, well starting qualifying even, I was pretty excited, I don't know why, because I had no time on the track and uh, I'm still getting used to a wheel, but I was quite excited for this race and looking forward to where I will finish. As you know, me and Lungna are teammates this season. At the moment, we're like midway in the constructors, which isn't too good. But we're looking to improve that today and try and go up in the constructors. And obviously, myself in the drivers. I did set a lap time before this. It wasn't as good, so I decided to go out again. And obviously, I won't bore you with the uh, bad lap times. We've only got two laps of fuel left. But yeah, uh, I was just looking for the best qualifying, obviously it would be great to get the best quality. But there is a sprint race in this as well, so anything can happen. You can be last in qualifying and get to first in the uh, in, at the end of, quality of the sprint race. Sorry. But as you see there, there's a, I think a Red Bull who's slowing down. It's Evan, yeah, the Red Bull which thankfully did not mess up my lap time as I got purple two, but I'm pretty sure a lot of people got purple two after me. <laughs> but yeah, sitting in 11th at the moment, I think there's 13 of us, so there's only two people who didn't say lap time so far. Around the final corners, 1.2 seconds up, 1.3 now, and uh, yeah, well, got P6, Right, let's have you in at the end of this lap, please. And I was pretty happy with that. So I went into the pits and just retired because I didn't think I was going to get a better lap time in. As my teammate, Lugna, gets a better thing than me. Uh, lap. So I started P9, P9 on the sprint, and we are on the way. Get a good start. Harry Sanchez is just a bit better than me, though. Can't really get him. For some reason. I think that was LJ tried to make the move on me on the grass. Don't know what happened. Forgetting to break there. And yeah, lo lost a couple of places, which was pretty annoying. But there's three people who messed up behind me as well. Paris Sanchez, LJ and Blazer. And as you can see, Tony JD also spun it or got hit off. So I sit in P8. Technically, game one okay, position. This is your final lap. Final lap of the race. Nothing really happened in the sprint race. And lap five, Blazer gets the move on me. T, but there, I didn't didn't want to make the move. Oh, and off, man. I got a bit angry there at LJ because he get, went straight into the back of me. But then later, he did let me pass as he knew he made a, a bad error. So yeah, he let me pass. And I didn't go up or down places, so I can't really complain. But yeah, that, that was a sprint race. And here it is, the race. And I get a drive-through penalty, which was so annoying. And my team, Lugna, at the end of the race, was saying how good, good of a start I got. And I said, no, I have a drive-through penalty. And he, was, uh, he wasn't too happy with that. Many of the obviously. As... I don't think I got forced onto that, as there probably was enough room, but I didn't really want to, I knew I wasn't going to be able to keep the place. But yeah, lap one, obviously with a drive through penalty, I went up quite a lot of positions, I went up three, but it's a drive through, so I'll lose all the places straight after, as AJP gets right alongside me, as it is telling me I had three laps to do my drive through. As I what thought, I might, well, I might as well do it now, just to get out of the way. And yeah, I go in lap one just to serve it, because I knew I wasn't going to get past anyone or anything. So might as well just save the trouble. Because I think L LJ also got a drive through. But lap three, right, there speed. is a safety car. And. This was my chance to catch back up as I was 13, 14 seconds-ish away 
from the Ferrari, just in front, well not just in front, but, but yeah, uh, going in this lap, some people did pit, which I didn't know why, but obviously they might have had damage, and I completely messed up the last corner, and lost everything to totally JD, as Sizzling H was right, right behind me, I was thinking he was going to make a move, but he doesn't in the end, which I was very glad about. As I do put my car in the best position possible. But yeah, uh, I go 8th, obviously I started 9th, wasn't the best, as there is a crash behind me. Which didn't result in a safety car, as my engineer will say. Okay, there's been an incident on track resulting in loose debris. Fortunately, the marshals have managed to clear it up in time, and there are so far no plans for a safety car. But totally JD goes wide there, and I'm thinking I can get the move on him. But as soon as I turn off my ERS, he zooms past again, but then just goes wide so I can slip in on the inside. And so did Sizzling H. So we both make the move on totally JD, gaining a position. And everyone else in front is so bunched up, it was incredible how no one crashed. But Harry Sanchez right behind me now on lap 13. A lot of laps were skipped because most of it was really boring. So I was trying to make it the best for you. Giving him a bit too much room going on the curb, probably slowing me down a bit. But yeah, Harry Sanchez gets in front of me. Come on, you can win that place back. And my engineer was very wrong. I couldn't get the place back in the end. As lap 16 comes around, even Sizzling H caught back up to me, and Harry Sanchez is just in front. But it didn't matter if Sizzling H got in front of me because he did have a three seconds. Sorry, this was a quick video, but I think I'm not really sure. But anyway, hope you all enjoyed. Like and subscribe, and see you in the next one. Peace.